Afternoon guys, hope you're well. Uh, we've got microphones on either side. We'll take as many questions as we can and we'll set an embargo partway through for 10.30 this evening. Someone to start please, Simon. Hi, Pep. Um, you, you've spoken a lot and a lot of people have mentioned about the amount of players that have been injured or coming back to fitness. Do you, do you accept that the longer this run goes on that even when you get your players back, the team itself will never be never reached the levels that it reached the last four seasons. With all the squad this season, we'll we'll be close for the level that we we'll reached last season. Yeah. So you you still believe that you can get right to the levels that you were with at all the with this squad? With all the players ready, yeah. Does that mean that it's not not necessarily certain that you will go into the market in January? Because I think. Most people think that that is what the solution might be. We'll talk internally what is the best in January. It depends on the position and the situation that we are in that moment. Hi, Pep. Um, did uh, you pick up any injuries at Liverpool at the weekend? And is John Stones closer to coming back? No, no close. You're Still, his injured, had a problem with his feet, and I don't know but not for that, I would say, next week. As for the game, Forrester in the top six, I don't think many people uh, predicted that at the start of the season. What makes them such awkward opposition? A strong physicality, a good manager, good experience, like Brighton and other teams. Like I said before, the middle class rise a lot, so and uh, it's not just one or two or three games, so there's already a lot of games being played in the Premier League and is in the top positions, um, so that means they are good. And De Bruyne uh, hasn't started for a while, but it came off the bench. Is he now fully fit to start? Would he be in your, your mind for...? Is closer and even, even better. Yeah, the last uh, few days uh, is even better. Just up to Andy, please, Ali. Dyer, would you pass this one across the Hi, Pep. Uh, just on the goalkeeping situation, is Stefan now going to get a, a run in the team or is Edison going to come back in for this one? Edison number one, and Stefan number two, yeah. But maybe Stefan continue. We'll see tomorrow in the next games. How did Edison react to the, um, to the decision that he wasn't really going to play? Really good. We know each other for eight years, nine years, so... Uh, and coming back to the, the Etihad tomorrow after Anfield. How important is it for the, the fans to create an atmosphere that the players can respond to? Yeah, we to? need them. Because the situation is uh, is what it is and we need them. Always have been there. I don't have the feeling. So they, they know exactly what these guys have done, what these team have done in the last in the last uh, last decade, I would say, it, uh, many, many good moments where they live together. And uh, they know that, that we need uh, absolute support uh, because all of us play, especially are human beings, and of course they are as always willing to give everything to try to change that dynamic. Uh, Pepe, it can feel like the end of the world, I know, when it, the a team loses a football match. How do you keep perspective, particularly in this difficult run? I think in the next one. When we won a lot of games, I think in the next one, and that's the same, to try to, to, to clean the heads and and try the good, the, the very the good selection for the way we have to play, and and think the next one. The, I don't know another another way. Don't feel sorry for ourselves. I don't feel sorry for myself. So it's what it is. So I have to accept it. Lots of managers, and Nuno's been the latest to say some kind words about yourself about being one of the managers that he looks to, someone that one of the few actually that have influenced the game to the level that you have. When you hear comments like that from your peers in the game, do they help any, in any way at this time? I appreciate it, thank you so much, but I know what this wall is and the one it works, so but thank you. From no, no, I appreciate it, I will reward the same thoughts about uh, him and I know perfectly what we have done together uh, in my career with many players, many clubs, so, but I can handle it, so it's not, it's not about, I I feel more secure what is going to happen tomorrow. And, and just finally from me, the, um, when you're clear at the top of the table, I've heard you sit there many times and say that lots of teams down the league are still involved in the title race. You often reel off a number of teams as your competitors. It's fifth against sixth 
tomorrow. Both these teams, yourself and Forest, do you still feel you're in the title race and have a point to prove? I said that before, we are not, cannot talk of the, the results we had in the past to think about in a big target would be a big mistake. The mistake is try to win a team that's close to us, to take advantage of him, to be close in the top four, and that is the target after. In November, we'll see what happens, but of course, it's going to happen. We will try to win games. That's what you have to try to do. So it's not, I think, in the Premier League, especially when one team has been. We, I would say we are not far away for the second, the, play, the team for the second position, but uh, always is the way you play, the consistent that you are in the boxes, and many things that give you the, the positive thoughts, you know, what's going to happen in the future. Um, um, and at the end, there's a team have been magnificent in Liverpool, and after that, you cannot, you know, fight against against that situation. And it's a, it will be a mistake. You have to do this. You have to regain games. After, you know, make our game when have our moments be more productive. And and after that, a step by step, go forward. Is that the bag of Santos this season? Start with Martin, please. 